Hey everyone, today we're going to be playing Pokemon Violet's Nuzlocke Edition. So, if you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, basically it's Pokemon but a little bit harder with some extra rules. First off, we have to catch the first Pokemon that we encounter in each area. We have to give it a nickname, and if it faints in battle, it's dead. We can't use it again. So, can we beat Pokemon Violet in Nuzlocke rules? Let's find out! Now this is my first time playing a 3D Pokemon game, so hopefully it's fun. I, I mean, I know there's gonna be glitches, but it should still be a good time. Let's go ahead and meet our first Pokemon here of the challenge, and you know who I'm gonna pick. I'm definitely gonna pick this little Fue Coco guy. I mean, look at it, that smile. Oh, he's just so cute. The other ones, eh, who cares? But I mean, this guy's just adorable. So, we're gonna go ahead and name him Fuego. I think that kind of fits the whole Spanish theme, and time to face off against Nimona, our rival for this whole challenge, and this should be pretty easy, because she's got the grass starter. Yep, that, that was definitely easy. Bye, Spurgadito, and way to go, Fuego. Now, let's go ahead and head off into the first area and catch our first little Pokemon here. Looks like it's gonna be this little bird thing here. Hello. Nice. All right, what are we gonna go ahead and name you? Flutter, welcome to the team. Now it looks like that thing's gonna evolve into a fire Pokemon, so, you know, we'll have to find a little bit more variety. Oh, hello. Who are you? Are you our little bicycle that we get to ride around on? Yes, you are. Here, have a sandwich. Oh, you liked it. Oh, that's good. See, now we're gonna be best friends. What? What do you want with my Pokemon? I didn't take your Pokemon, it just wanted a sandwich. You don't seem too happy that I have this Pokemon out in the wild. All right, well, I guess we'll battle you. That's fine. Because you're definitely going down. I'm, I'm sorry, your little normal dark type thing is just, just gone. Yeah, bye. That, that, was, that was pretty easy. Oh, hello. Are you beating up kids? First day of school and we're already getting into a fight. All right, Team Star Grunt. Let's go ahead and take care of you guys. You know, getting into school, taking care of bullies. Uh, yeah, we, we can totally, you know, getting into a fight here on our first day of school. And that's one down. And, oh, Nimona, uh, I, I promise I'm not getting into fights on purpose. I'm, I'm just here helping out things. Uh, oh, you the, you want to help me out? Oh, here. I'll, I'll definitely take an Ultra Rare Gift. Thank you. Ooh, it's shiny. Terra Orb. Is this the gimmick for this Pokemon game? Well, thanks, Nimona, for the extra power-up. This should actually be pretty easy. Now let's see what this thing does. Ooh, he's like a little crystal thing with... Moons on his head. <laughs> oh, Flutter. That's really funny. Goodbye. Oh, that that poor little young goose. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Well, that's a fun little gimmick that we'll be using, I'm sure, throughout the whole game, and I'm guessing that all the gym leaders will have it. Now to get through the extra hour of dialogue. All right, now that we've finished the hour-long tutorial, let's head off and find our next new guy who's gonna be this little Krikatot thing? Or not. Um, well, sorry, little bug. I guess we're heading into our first gym battle with only two Pokemon? I guess that's fine. Oh, hello, Nimona. Don't, don't tell me how I have to fight you here first. Um, I'd, I'd rather not do that. Oh good, I don't have to fight you. That That's fine. I guess we'll just pass this little gym test thing here and move on to our actual fight. What is this? Oh my gosh. Why is it making, ugh. It's making like squishy sounds. No, get it out of here, I don't want it. Why? Why did they add that sound effect in there? Oh, well, I passed the gym test, yay. Can I go to the gym fight now? Thanks. Hello, bug lady. I, I'm, I'm here for a gym battle. Let's do this thing. Gym leader Katie, you're going down. 
Uh, I'm sorry, if you if you actually have bug Pokemon, yeah, you've got bug Pokemon. Uh, they're all gonna just get burned to a crisp, sorry. At least we won't lose a Pokemon in this one. See, Nuzlocke isn't too bad. You just gotta have a good starter. And fire is definitely going to be very easy for this first gym. And one. Two. And three. Oh yeah. That that was super easy. And we passed. Sweet. No problems there. Ooh, look, our starter's evolving. Oh look, it's it's now like it got a little funny hat on. I mean, even when it's not. All right, well, let's go find the next Pokemon. Oh, hello, what are you? You're like this little electric thingy. You kind of look like a Pikachu. You the Pikachu clone this time around? Palmy. All right, well, let's name you Pug. I, I think that's a good name. Pug, welcome to the team. Wait, why is that glowing? <gasps> that Pokemon's glowing. Ooh, let's go catch it. This is a new area. Ooh. Okay, it's not a shiny, it's... Oh, it can terrestrialize. Okay, that's cool. I'll catch this thing. Why not? Blow it. You're mine. Ha ha ha. Nice. That wasn't too bad. Flora, welcome to the team. Now, let's head off into this. What is that giant Pokemon? Oh, the eyes. Wait, I have to fight it? Is this one of those Titan Pokemon that the other guy was talking about? Oh, okay, I guess we'll fight it and get cloth. You shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, especially with our grass Pokemon that we got here. Bye. Well, that was one round. Uh, where, where'd it go? Oh, it's just down here. No, I, 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 I don't want to... All right, I guess we'll fall on top of it and... That's fine. No, don't... Ah! I was right there! Oh, it, it moved me over there. That's fine. Arvin, I guess we're teaming up to fight this thing? Oh, it's going super sane. All right, we can do this. I hope Arvin has a good Pokemon for this thing. Um, we'll terrestrialize and take care of it pretty easy, I think. Oh yeah, that that wasn't bad. Super easy. All right, first Titan Pokemon down. That's that's cool. Wish we could have caught it, but I already caught one in this area, so we don't have to worry about that. Titan Cloth, taken care of. Sweet. All right, Arvin, what did you want to look for in this cave? Um, Herbica, Herba Mystica, something or other. Ooh, um, I don't I don't think you should touch the radioactive plant. I mean, everything in there looks radioactive. You should probably walk away. It was, it obviously was dangerous. Sweet Herba Mystica, sure. Um, it's great for stomach aches too, great. Uh, I, I don't really want to eat that thing. You should probably avoid glowing plants, honestly. But if you want to make a sandwich, you you go for it. Right on you want you you want my sandwich? I I I, I was just kind of gonna eat it to be polite because, you know, it is radioactive. But you're a robot or something. See, it made him glow and power up. <gasps> Ooh, I can dash now. That's cool. Okay. Herba Mystica HMs. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. I still don't want to eat it. I'll just give them all to my Pokemon. Thanks. Now let's go ahead and look for a new one in this area. Um, there's a few around here, I'm sure. Oh, hello. <gasps> it's the new Wooper. Hey, little guy. Or gal. All right. Wanda, welcome to the team. You'll make a fine addition. Now we got a ground poison type. That's pretty cool. All right, on to the second gym. It'll also be a breeze. But let's figure out what the whole test is beforehand. Oh, I've got to get 10 Sunflora. Sure. Um, I guess I could do that. Well, that's, that's... Oh, no, what did... Um, are they gone? Did I just drown them all? Oops. 
Uh, sorry, little guys. Oh, you're well, you're back. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I didn't mean to drown them all in the pool. Um, I'm glad we found all ten, though. Yay! Time for the gym fight. And now where's the gym leader? Greetings, challenger. Um, wait, why are you standing on top of a windmill? That's that's kind of dangerous. No, there's no way you would have landed that, honestly. Brassius. All right. I guess we're fighting this guy, and he looks like he's a grass trainer. All right. We can take care of this. Super easy. Oh, yeah. That, there wasn't even a challenge there. Fuego just obliterated all of them. Yeah, you be mad. That's fine. That's what happens when you have an entire team devoted to one type, such as grass, and one of the starters is fire. Anyway, that's gym number two done. Let's go ahead and head off in this direction. Oh, no, I wanted to see what the glowing one was. That's fine. I guess we'll take care of you. And we'll probably never use you, honestly. I don't need a bug type. Nada. Because we're not going to use you. See ya. To the box with you. Ooh, Pug is evolving, though. That's nice. Oh, he stands up now. Pug evolved into Pomo. Sure. And what the heck is happening here? There's like giant boulders rolling down the hill. Ooh, hello. Those... I don't like the design of this Pokemon, but sure. I guess we'll fight it. Oh, it's a Titan one. Yeah, we can take care of this guy. Bomb... Uh, Bomberdeer. Bomberd... Bomberdeer. Bombard ear. No, that, that that hurt. Oh boy. Um, and I did not that much damage. Let's switch into somebody else, please. Wanda, can you do anything better? Ah. Oh. oh, but you're poisoned. Okay. Oh. Um. This is a really dangerous one. I don't think I was ready for this. Uh, I'll just wait out the poison. Yeah, there we go. Huh. Oh, and I'm gonna go straight into phase two. That's fine. Arvin, are you gonna take care of most of the damage for me with this Super Saiyan Pokemon? Look, it's eating a radioactive plant. This one's glowing green. All right, let's do this thing. Yeah, Terrasquilize, that'll, that'll definitely help, right? Oh yeah. Oh, good. Okay, Arvin actually was helpful that time. Goodbye, Bombardier. Titan number two, done. <gasps> What's this? Wanda's evolving? <gasps> oh, it's like a giant whale thing. It's a giant cuddly poisonous whale. Sure. Arvin, you make another radioactive sandwich. And I'll pretend to eat it and then give it to my giant... Bicycle. Oh, see, look, it even looks gross. Why would you want to eat that? And power up! All right. I can go on water. We learned surf. Oh, he just wants to get the sandwich to his dog to get it to power up, too. Oh, that's nice. Eh, uh, well. Now I know his story. At least he wants to bring his dog back to full health. That's that's a nice, sweet story. Oh, you've got a good backstory there, Arvin. Okay, I'm not mad at you anymore. Wait, what's going on over here? Why did I just stop? Cassiopeia. Oh, you're the you're the person that wanted me to fight the all of the bullies at the school. That's right. Sure, I'll help out. We can we can take down all the bullies. Wait, aren't, aren't you the principal of the school just with a wig on? Why are you here? Are, are you here to help take down the bullies? Yeah, you you pretend to be cool, um, Clive. Yeah, sure. I, uh, we can work together on this thing. All right. So a unique way of battling, Star Barrage. They throw out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. That's kind of cool. I just throw them out and they take on the bad guys? Sure. Let's see how this works. 
I don't even have to do anything. Actually, I, I, I kind of like this. Just a big battle. Sure, I can take care of 30 of these guys pretty easy. Yeah, all right, 30 done. Make it 31. 32, ha ha ha. Now what do we got? You gotta get the boss. Well, I'm here to fight the boss. That, that was my plan all along. What? You've got a car? That's controlled by Pokemon? What? Okay, this is gonna be a cool battle. Hello, Yakamo. Let's do this thing. Okay, this is cool. The music's awesome for this fight too. Okay, Yakimo, I, I I'm really impressed with Team Star. Can I actually join you guys? Uh, I don't I don't want to take you down. I I want to join you. But I mean, I I guess I can take you down if I need to. That that's fine. Pug, do your thing. Wait. I have to fight the car. The car is what I'm fighting here. Sure, um, Wanda, can can you do something about this? Oh, I had to fight a car. I mean, it was controlled by Pokemon, but s still, I, I I'm I'm really impressed with your tactics here, though, Team Star. I'd I'd like to join. Your music's awesome. You seem get you guys seem pretty cool. I, I seriously. No, you don't want me to join. Uh, I I guess that's fine. But hey, I, I defeated the Dark Cruise team leader, so that's cool. That's one out of five. Ooh, and I get some supplies for it. Oh, hey, it's the girl I saved from the bullies earlier, Penny. Yeah, I remember you. Sweet, that's a lot of stuff that I can use. All right, now time to. Head off towards the next gym and maybe catch another Pokemon along the way. I think a water type might be useful, even though the Tauros fighting type would be cool. <gasps> Ooh, look, it's a dolphin! Sure, we'll take this thing. Hello. Alright, Flipper, welcome to the team. You know what, before we head off to the next gym, let's go ahead and take on the next um, Star Street Fall, whatever, Starfall Street? That's what it's called. This should be pretty easy now that we've got a water type. Especially since it's basically like the Fire Nation. Everything changed when Flipper attacked. That was pretty easy. I still like this way of battling, though. Awesome, we get to fight another car. Well, you look intimidating, um, but at least I've got some water ground types that should be pretty easy to take care of you guys. Yep, that one was good. And, and yeah, that one was really easy. Sorry, Mella. Still like your music. Those boots are a little outrageous, though. All right. Number two of Starfall Street taken care of. Let's grab one more Pokemon, and then we'll grab the Electric Gym. I think that's probably our next best bet. <gasps> I've always wanted one of these. Yay, Riolu. We're going to name it Reggie. Oh, look, he's so cute. Oh, he's just sleeping there. I want to keep it forever. All right, now that we're ready and we've got a nice, cute little team member that's gonna do some awesome fighting damage, let's head off into this gym and fight this this person. Um, Iono, why does she have shark teeth? That's the one thing I don't know. Oh, you've got a flying uh, flying starter. Um, that's not great. Um, we'll we'll just go ahead and back out and go into Wanda. Wanda's ground type. Your electric moves aren't gonna do anything. Yeah, see, that was pretty easy. All right, Reggie, you take care of this belly bowl. Just power up and then let's do this thing. No, 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 no! Reggie, you are so cute. No, that's our first death. I can't use Reggie anymore. Oh, all right, Pug, just take care of this thing. I don't want to see it anymore. Gosh dang it.
Well, I guess Pug is going to have to take care of a good majority of these things. But you have a ghost type that you're going to terrestrialize into a electric type. Interesting. That's kind of a cool idea. Do you get electric moves, though? Oh, well. That was pretty easy. Yep, Wanda did a good job there. And Pug. But poor little Reggie. Ariolu is all gone. I don't know, I don't like you. You got rid of our cute little Pokemon. He was just a baby. Alright, now we gotta go find a replacement. Eh, yeah, we'll grab another glowing terrestrialized Pokemon. What are you, though? I know you're from a different generation, but what kind of type are you? Or fighting that turns into steel, huh? Alright. We'll go with you. May not use you right away, but we'll go ahead and catch you. Now, let's head off and face this next Titan nearby. Shouldn't be too bad. I mean, it's like a steel type or something like that, so we should do a pretty decent job against this thing. That's a cute little derpy looking worm. I mean, it's big, but <gasps> oh, he's got a cute face. I don't don't know if I like the legs, but it is pretty derpy looking. Oh, Flipper! No, no, no! Flipper! That's too- no, why? Now I don't have a water type anymore. Oh. Okay, Fuego, maybe you can take care of this thing? I mean, you're super effective against the steel stuff, right? Do not like you. All right. Now that it's powered up, let's go ahead and take care of it one more time. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it one-shot it! Okay, Fuego, you're awesome! But I lost Flipper in the battle. Man! All right, well, Fuego, you did good. Now I have two less Pokemon. This one's glowing white. Um, the salty Herba Mystica. I don't know if I'd want to eat a salty sandwich like that. That looks kind of gross. And what power-up are we going to get this time? <gasps> Higher jumping. Sure. That sounds good. <gasps> oh, the doggy barked. Look, it's working. You're healing your dog with radioactive food. Oh, that's so happy. Who's the best of boys? Oh, you will. Oh, my goodness. Arvin's story is the best. I think it's about time we evolve Pamu here. Um, it apparently requires it to walk around for a thousand steps. So let's just let it walk in a circle and see what happens. Have you walked enough yet? It was like a whole day and night and day again. You're, you're, you're ready to level up now? Do I need to give you a rare candy? And? Pug is evolving! I mean, it looks pretty similar, it just got taller. Okay, that's fine. But it's more powerful now, so that's good. This will be good for the water gym that we're headed to next! Gym leader, come back. I was gonna battle you. So why was he just running away? Oh, he left his wallet to go to the market. Um, you want me to deliver his wallet. You're trusting some random kid that just walked up on the street to go deliver the gym leader's wallet. That's that's a great plan. Yeah. Well, I guess I can do that. That's fine. And it's through this desert. Sure. Oh, hello. What are you? You've got a little tiny hammer. It's like a baby with a rattle. Sure, I'll catch this thing. I was kind of hoping for one of the ghosts right there, but that's okay. Tink-a-tink. -tink. Sure. Welcome to the team, and it's got a little hammer, so we'll name it Thorina. Sure. Thorina, welcome to the team. Is there any water Pokemon that we can get right here? Um, a dragon. It's like a ghost dragon type, isn't it? A Dreppy. Sure. You're kind of derpy looking, so let's name you Derp. Hey, Mr. Kofu, here's your wallet, but I, mean, I know I'm just some random kid, but... Um, I, I didn't steal it, I promise. I didn't take any money out of it or anything. Wait, you're just gonna give me the money to win an auction for you? Really? 
All right, sure. I, I can I can do that for my gym test. That's fine. Yeah, 35. Oh, awesome. 35,000. Yeah. Why would you buy seaweed for 35,000 poke dollars? That's a lot of money. But, hey, you're a chef. I, it's, it's your money. That's fine. Oh, you're letting me keep the rest of it? Sweet. And I passed the gym test. All right, let's go ahead and head back through the desert and... Wait, what is that thing? Is that the next Titan? It is! Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Professor Turo, wait, aren't you... Aren't you Arvin's dad or something? Oh, it's one of those Pokemon from your area. It's dangerous. No boy. The Quaking Earth type. Just go away. You are steel, because the fire is super effective, but my goodness, that was terrifying. All right, Arvin. <laughs> is that even a Pokemon? That's what I was thinking. It's like a giant robot thing. Let's do this. Arvin, you take it down and take most of the hits, so I can keep fighting at least. I, I want you to take all the hits. No, no, no. Oh, okay, well, there go the Fallout boys. Um... Ouch. Sea fire super effective. Yeah, come on. Okay, one more hit like that. That should be fine. No, don't attack me. Stop the tantrum. But... No. Fuego. No, my starter. How could you? Iron Shirts, I hate you. Ugh. Why? Why didn't you attack Arwen, Arvin's Pokemon? Why? Why did you attack mine? No. No, I'm down by three now. Yeah, I defeated it, but that's not good. I mean, my starter. Just give me that stupid radioactive sandwich. Just eat your sandwich, level up. Man, not even happy about this one. Oh, but you'll be able to glide. Yay. Woohoo. Oh, I guess we'll go battle the gym leader now. Man. Shouldn't be too hard with Pug. I just, I just want my starter back, though. Kofu, I'm here to exact revenge. I mean, not on you, just on Pokemon in general. Let's do this fight here. You're a nice guy and all, but you're going down. That's one, that's two, and a Terrastalize number three. Oh my gosh. Pug, you're a beast. I love you. You're a good little Pokemon. Oh, that's a fun photo. Ah, uh, but that's our fourth gym badge down. Now, let's go ahead and head off into the north. I, I need an ice Pokemon, I think. What's this? Oh, hello. Glaceon. I've never played with this Pokemon. I've seen it a lot in other Pokemon games. But again, I've never played a 3D Pokemon game. Greg, welcome to the team. And what's this? Flutter's evolving? Sure. Ooh, it's like a big Phoenix bird thing. Sweet. Talonflame. Awesome. All right. Next Pokemon encounter. A Mimikyu, sure. We'll name you Mimi. But now it's time for the, the Poison Cruise leader. I'll give you points for style, but you know, you're definitely going down. Yep, Wanda's just gonna be able to blow through all this really easy. Just done, but I'm sorry. Atticus, you, you weren't that difficult. Still like the music. And thank you for the badge. That's three down of Starfall Street. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a little ghost Pokemon. It's a little ghost doggy. Let's, let's name this one Gravy. All right, let's grab a new water Pokemon. Oh, wait, wait, yes. It's my favorite water Pokemon, Vaporeon. It's awesome. Vicky, I know we've already got an e another evolution, but you know, I'll definitely take it. All right, now off to head to the normal gym. Wait. 
What happened to all the people eating at the restaurant? Um, okay. I guess this is where we do our gym test. Yay! Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to battle. That, that was strange. But okay. Larry, you're up. Wait, it's this guy? Hello. I'm Larry. I'm assigned to work the gym leader at Medali Gym. Good job making it through your gym test. Oh my gosh. He's like every office worker ever. Anyway, my boss will dock my pay if I chit chat too much. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this guy. Larry is amazing. I'm, I mean, he's gonna be pretty easy, but still. It's a normal type, Jim. I've got a ghost and a fighting type. This, this will be no problem. Yep, there it goes. I mean, he couldn't even really hit me, but. Oh, Larry's awesome. <gasps> and we're gonna eat some food. Thanks, Larry, for the food. Off to the next gym battle. We get to face off against a rapper. Gym leader Rhyme. Oh, it's a double battle. That's cool. I don't know if I'm prepped for this. Shadow Sneak. Come on, Gravy, you got this. Oh, no, 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 well, apparently you don't. Okay. All right, well, there goes, there goes one of my Pokemon. Marina, can you take care of this? I just needed to break the disguise. Oh, and it did some damage too. All right, Pug. I don't know if you'll be able to take care of this, but yes, I know it was a super effective rhyme. Oh, wait a second. The crowd cheering gives boosts. That's not fair. What? Okay, um, well, let's just take care of one of them. Um, I, I know this is gonna hit Pug, but all right. This is gonna be a tough gym battle, honestly. Ouch. I mean, double battles is something I'm just not used to, let alone having the crowd cheering, doing actual effects on the Pokemon. All right, Mimic, you fainted, that's good. All right, there goes Bayonet. Wait, the, uh, there's ghost Pokemon in the crowd now too? Okay. <gasps> Look at the little guy, he's dancing! Yeah! Oh, you're gonna Terrasilize now? No, I wasn't ready for that. Um, I guess you got your... Yep, yep, all right. Another ghost type. Poison Electric is now ghost. Yeah, that was good. That was good damage. Oh boy. No, Pug! Not Pug! Why? Why am I losing all the Pokemon I care about? Alright, Therina, you did good. That's not how I wanted this battle to end, though. I lost two Pokemon in this one. Sure, I wasn't too attached to Gravy, but... I was attached to Pug. But it's taken care of. Fine. You know what? I've had it. Let's just head off straight to the next gym battle. No leveling up. I, I can take care of this one. It's just ice. It's all ice type. Flutter, you got this. Oh yeah. Flutter, you definitely had this. See, that one wasn't too bad. All right, one more gym battle, and it's up this mountain somewhere. You know what, let's let's go ahead and take, I haven't gotten a counter in here yet. Wait, you're dark type, you're dark fire, but you've got a ghost terrestrialization. that's kind of cool. We'll add you to the team. Houndoom is now Honda. Honda, welcome to the team. Now let's go ahead and pass this gym test. Really, This is this is what we're doing? Oh boy, this is this is terrible. Let's just move on. Alright. Here we go, Tulip. 
Oh, it's the new giraffe Pokemon evolution. Giraffe egg evolution. Too bad it's just gonna faint one right after the other. After the other. And after the other. Yeah, that was that was no problem at all. Way to go, Houndoom. Honda. That's our last gym badge. Okay. And we've got one Titan left, and we've got one... Oh! Oops. I guess we'll catch this on our way to our Titan. Alright, Tiny. We've got one Titan left, and we've got two of the Starfall Street things left. So let's go ahead and take care of this Titan. Oh, it's the slightly bigger of the little fish. And it just got eaten. What? So Dezonzo, is that one the actual one we're fighting? Sure. Um, okay. You swim away. Let's go get your radioactive plant thing for a power-up. But you, you didn't eat the fish. It went in and ate the Herba Mystica for you, and and now you ate it again? Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect to see the food chain in action today. Me neither, Arvin. Me neither. But I guess that's how it works. And now you get the power up. Awesome. This shouldn't be too hard. All right. Well, that was that was pretty easy. Didn't really even do any damage to me. Oh, it's the it's the little fish. Wait, <laughs> it's wanting to be the Titan now. Okay, I guess I'll fight this little tiny fish. <laughs> it's a triple Titan fight. Oh, and this one's actually Dragon type. Okay, that was interesting. And we two hit. All right. No problems there. That was that was kind of funny, honestly. All right, let's go find our next radioactive meal. Give it to our... Oh, it's on fire! Here. Eat it before, our, you know, we all catch on fire. Right on. Now you can climb on surfaces. You're fully leveled up. Now is the dog going to get all healed up? Please get... Aw. Come on, little doggy. That's all I really want. Aw. It's such a sweet story. Oh, he just wants to play ball. He's a good dog. Oh, he's a happy little dog. Yay, we win. Okay, th this is it. We don't we don't need to hear any more of the story. We're all done. I I don't need to play it. Yeah, okay. Yep. Happy little ending. We don't need to hear any more, right? Right? We we don't need to go fight any more bad guys or anything. We don't need to get the champion. This this is a happy ending. I'm just kidding. Let's go off to the next Starfall base. I mean, we really wanted to save Arvin's dog, but still, uh, Team Star has definitely got the the cool factor behind them. Although, I don't think the fairy fight is going to be as difficult. Not with Therina here and your giant hammer. Yep, that, that one was pretty easy. That's four down. And now time for number five. Head off to the dragon area. Let's see what we can get in here. Your fighting type, okay. Oh my gosh. Flutter, you're amazing. Even in the rain. All right, that's all five of the Star Crews defeated. Star Starfall Street is now done, along with the Titan one. It's only one last thing in the Starfall. I have to defeat the big boss. Um, okay, so where's the big boss? Who, how do we defeat him? Don't worry, the true identity of the big boss is none other than me. Oh, okay, Cassiopeia, where do we where do we find you? Okay, I guess we're gonna meet you at the school later tonight. That's that's fine. I guess we can go ahead and defeat one more. Hmm. This is rather interesting. Why did the big boss want to take down all the little guys? Alright, we are here at the school and it's Clive sitting out front. Hello, Clive. What are you doing here? I know you're really the director. Sup? <laughs> it's time for me to bring this performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Aha! No! Ah! Oh wait, it's just the teacher. Oh, okay. Director Clavel, I presume? No, no way! 
<laughs> he seems very happy about his disguise, so I'll, I'll let him play along. No, you're not... You're not Cassiopeia. I, I knew it, because we're not supposed to be meeting here until after dark, remember? Yeah, that's impossible. Sorry, I'm not going to play along with that part. But I will fight you. Director Clavel, you're going down. I'm sorry to say. Yeah, Flutter, just do your thing. Yep. Yep. Well, you had the other starter, but it's not going to do you much good. Flutter just is going to obliterate you. All right, now it's time to go fight the big boss. Wait, isn't that Penny? It is Penny. I recognize that backpack anywhere. You just didn't want to be seen. All right, that's fine. We'll go ahead and fight you off. Of course, you're going to have all evolutions. That's that's totally fine. We can take care of this. Flutter, do your thing. I mean, just acrobatics is just too powerful. This bird is just nuts. Now, Team Star is disbanded. Although, technically, I can be the leader. I defeated all the big bosses. I, I can take over. Oh, wait, they, they're all coming back? They just... Aw, they just wanted to... Aw, okay. They're all just wanting to be good friends. That's fine. All right, now that we've finished up Team Star's story, let's go ahead and finish up Arvin's story here. Um, apparently, we got a message that we were supposed to meet back at the lab. So, hopefully, we can get this resolved. Because... Arvin's story had a great conclusion. I don't I don't think we need to add more, but uh, we still have the unresolved business with his dad and this bicycle futuristic Pokemon that I have. I need your help. Arvin doesn't seem too happy about that. But looks like he wants us to head down to Area Zero. Okay, we can do that. That place is bad news. That's where Maustiff got wounded. No, I don't want to go down there in the first... No! <sighs> fine. I guess we will. You're, you're wanting to give your dad a piece of your mind? That's fine. I can help you prep. Let's let's do this. You We'll battle. You can prep for fighting your dad, and I'll just prep for Pokemon League, honestly. Shouldn't be too much damage. Oh my gosh! Your dog turns into a giant dark beast. That's fine. It was just a tiny little sushi fish. Flutter, I guess you're just going to have to finish this off. Because, seriously, Flutter is a beast, even at level 57. All right. You want more support for going down to the Area Zero? That's fine. Um, we'll bring Penny and and we'll bring Nimona as well. A champion level person and a tech person. Yeah, I know who those are. That's Penny and Nimona. I'll go take care of that. That's two stories down, one to go. Guess it's time for... Facing off against the Elite Four and the Champion. Wait, what is this? Why does this... Am I going to have an interview? Seriously? I hate interviews. Worst part of job searching is interviews. And you're going to make me do one here in front of the Pokemon League. That's, that's awesome. Way to stress out your students before you give them the Elite Four. That's, that's just a terrible tactic. You're just mean. All right, Rika, let's do this. Okay, you've got water ground? Ground type, maybe. Wish cash. That's one. Camera up, oh yeah, that's, that's gonna be easy. Goodbye, Dawn fan. Also pretty easy. And Doug Trio. Ooh, you almost got rid of Vicky, that's not good. Goodbye. Ooh. I need a little more setup on these ones. All right, Greg, you can take care of the last one. Okay. Whew, that's one down. Wait, I get to fight a child? I don't want to fight a child. Why is there a child member of the Elite Four? That's terrible. All right, I guess we're fighting a child here. All right, we'll let Flutter take care of the first one. Wanda will take care of this one. And Vicky. I, I think if we set up Vicky against this Bronzor, we'll actually do pretty good. Yeah, I've got Aqua Tail and 
leftovers, and basically I can just, you know, get all of this liquid defense up, and nothing can touch me. Oh yeah, that's Bronzor gone, Corviknight gone, and Tinkaton gone. Sweet! Vicky's turning into the MVP here. Wait, Mr. Larry, Mr. Larry's back? Larry's back, yes! He's a gym leader and an Elite Four. Oh, this is awesome. I'm so glad he's back. Let's do this, Larry. Wait, you've got a different tie on. You've got clouds on your tie. You get to do... Ooh, you're a flying type. Okay, this will be interesting. Because I don't have Pug this time. Ah, Poor Pug. That's okay. Greg can do a pretty good job here. Yep. Sorry, Larry. Took the wind from out of her wings. Aw, poor Larry. He's such a good guy. All right, time for the final one. Hassel, uh, one of the teachers that I never actually met because I never did any of the school stuff. Yes, fairy type. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Yep, Therina, you did awesome. Way to go. And that's all four of the elite four taken care of. Done. Now it's time for the champion. Oh, we get to battle on the roof. That's an interesting layout. Sure. We can do this, I guess. Normally there's like a crowd or something, I feel like. All right, Jita. Time to do this. Yeah, you got nothing on me. That was even a crit, and that did nothing. Just go away. All right, Flutter, you got this one. And this next one. Oh yeah, that Pokemon is really cool looking though. I want that Samurai Pokemon. Veluza, no problems. And go go yeah. Again, no problems here. Vicky, you can take care of this last one, it's ground type. Oh yeah, easy. That wasn't actually too bad of a champion. The Elite Four was probably just as tough. Honestly. I'm now champion. Aha! You're walking me out? Oh, Nimona! Were you not gonna watch? I, th I thought you were gonna watch. You did it! You became champion! Yes, I did! Aha, I knew it all along. I got word from La Primera when you cleared the Elite Test. Now that you made it here, I've got something to say. Let's you and me be best rivals for life. Sure! Anyway, that being said... I'll be waiting for you at the battle court in Mazagosa Central Plaza. See you there. Oh, we get to fight each other. All right. I can do that fight. Okay. The music in this game has been awesome so far. But Nimona, I hate to tell you this. You're going down. Listen. Let's just set up on Vicky here with a little bit of acid armor and aqua ring. Oh, yeah. Oh, but now it's an Electro-type. I guess I have to switch into Wanda. That's fine. Wanda will be able to take care of this. Ooh, so close. But the poison will get you. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, Vicky. Set up on you again and take care of this one. And this one. And then we'll use Greg to take care of your little dragon type here. I guess you've got your starter here. This shouldn't be too big of an issue because I've still got Greg out. Ice against grass, not a great combo for you, honestly. And goodbye. You get one shot. Oh, that's gotta hurt. I did it. Oh, she's excited for me. You know what? She's at least a, a good rival where she actually cares about the other person. Whereas, you know, in the past games, I don't feel like they have necessarily. They're all just full of themselves. And here she is just happy for me the whole time, which is good. But you know what? With that, that's the third road complete. So now I guess we can head down into area zero. Do we have all our partners set up? We're going to take Arvin with us um, and Penny and Nimona. Ooh, it's a big research tower thing. This is Zero Gate. It's made by so 
It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Paldea, what folks call Area Zero. This is our ticket down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Yeah, Area Zero is apparently where Maridon was born or something like that. Okay, we got all we got all three of our buddies here to help us out. So let's head on down into the crater. Get on. Well, you were just gonna leave without me? Oh, I see how it is. This doesn't look dangerous at all. Why are you all laughing and oh my gosh, that was terrifying. Why would you do that? You're just gonna leave without me. And what would have happened if you hadn't grabbed my hand? Huh? Or you'd slipped? Just reckless. Reckless is what it is. This is a cool area. Although this place looks like it's seen better days. Hello, children. Oh, it's the professor talking to us again. Ah, professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything all busted up in here? I, I'm sorry. Hello, children. Uh, come again? I'm uh, so, so, so sorry. So, so, so sorry. I'm. I've, oh, it's a, why is he glitching? Hey, hello, children. It's a robot. Initiating restart. He's definitely a robot. That's that's right. That was almost like no. It can't be. What do you mean it can't be? Er, your father's been taken over by a robot. Hello. Why is the professor just sitting there? Human presence detected within the lab. Arvin, your dad's a robot. I'm not the true Professor Turo. No kidding. Then who are you? In short, I am an AI powered robot. I, I just said that. The real Professor Turo passed away in an incident that destroyed the research station number four. Oh, so that's what happened to that one. Ava Gamer, it is truly a relief that you came. The original professor had a dream, a world in which future Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon have gained a strange power due to their adaptations in the distant future. And this proven has proved to be too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this current age. Well, duh. You bring something from the future, it's not a good idea. Well, I'm glad that the AI Turo is at least interested in solving the problem. So this is the time machine that we have to, to stop the machine, most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Let's shut this machine down and stop these Pokemon from invading the world. Access denied. AI Turo switching to sleep mode, activating offensive protocols. What is this battle tower thing? Please defeat me. Did he just pull out a Master Ball? I have to fight against this guy who's just got a whole bunch of Master Balls from the future. That's, that's great. Iron Moth. All right, Vicky. Let's see what you can do here. Oh, you've got electric. Um, that's not good. Okay, Vicky, come back. I don't know any of the typings on these things. I can't even predict. They're just weird creatures from the future. Earthquake should take care of their level 66. You got fire too? Oh, and you get a special attack boost. That's great. Ugh, at least I got Earthquake. Oh boy. Um, I guess we'll try this. Oh, that did good. There's a crit, but that's fine. Earthquake's gonna hurt. Oh, that really hurt. Um, let, let, let's send in Flora. Flora, you can handle this, right? Yeah. Just avoid the attack. Come on. Magical Leaf should do it. You're faster? That's not good. <sighs> okay. That was close. That was really close. No, what? What? You just one-hit it. Flora! Okay, um... Uh... Who do I send in? Alright, you know what? We're gonna send in Wanda. Wanda's been doing pretty good against everybody else so far. Um, but we're gonna heal up. Again. And hope that we survive. Okay, we can, we can take that hit. At least we took care of it. Okay, that's three down. You should be pretty easy. Yeah. Okay. Go flutter. Flamethrower, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, there we go. Okay. You know, we'll terrestrialize so we're not steel type anymore. 
Yeah, see, that does much better. Okay. Whew. Okay. On to the last guy. What is that? I like the sword. Ouch. I mean, it was a crit, so that hopefully this will take care of it. Oh, good. Okay. Whew. Yeah, that's right. What's gonna happen next? Ethan Gamer! Uh, I, Arvin, hey, um, about your dad. You, you, you see, he's he's actually a robot. Your, your, your dad died. Thank you for everything. Time Machine has finally... He has finally been stopped. You're not my dad, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. Dad? Oh, no! Why is all the heart-wrenching details with Arvin? Locking all Pokeballs except those registered to Turo's ID? How did you do that? Wait a minute, he locked down all our Pokeballs? Wait, and and he's terrestrializing. Um, you must run. Um, AI Turo disabled. Paradise protection protocol initiated. I, 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 I mean, okay. Oh, this is gonna, oh, this is gonna be fun. You are challenged by AI Turo. You are challenged by the Paradise Production Protocol. All right. We're right on. Now, do I actually get to fight this? I, I don't get to fight this thing. Boo. All right. Guess we're sending out Maridon. All right. Let's do this thing. All right. And we terrestrialize and win the game. I, I mean, it was a little scripted, but that's okay. Goodbye. Defeated. Oh, sweet. That's the end of the game. That's been a lot of fun. I, I mean, I really enjoyed this game. Sure, there were some glitches, but you know what? Overall, it was a very fun Pokemon game, and I'm glad it was my first 3D Pokemon game. I mean, it was definitely a challenge to do it in Nuzlocke, but now on my own, I think I'll go ahead and keep playing this game. You know, collect all the Pokemon, maybe get a couple Shinies. We'll see how it goes. If you enjoyed this episode of me playing Pokemon. Maybe check out this other one where I went ahead and tried playing three Pokemon games at the same time. That one was a lot of fun. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more crazy awesome content. Until next time though, hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you later. Ciao.